welcome back again to my channel this video is going to be in continuation of our series how to braid letters and in this video we will be braiding letter J I just finished letter I here so it's time for letter J off as much as you want your hair to be thick as thick as you want your braid to be so I think that quantity is enough for me and then you're going to section off your hair to complete the whole bar on top of letter J remember to also cut it off here my <laughs> I wanted to say it has cut itself all, but that is not neat. So there you go. This is it. This is the top of my letter J. So this is about the middle. Remember, you're not going to actually part your hair in the middle. Now I can take a little off this side and a little off this side. The middle is just to help me like a guide. I don't even think that's the same, but that's not the same. This side is shorter. Okay. So yeah. Guys, is this the middle? I don't like nonsense. So I don't have that energy. Please let's continue. So once you've gotten like an approximate of your middle. You're going to take off hands from the two sides. So that middle line is only there to guide you to take off hands rightly. So taking off from this side and almost the same quantity also from this other side. And now All these markings were from when I was braiding letter A and showing you how to use like a colored pencil that is the same color as your hair or a concealer to fill in or cover up spaces just like how you would do with your eyebrows. You can do that with your hair when you make your designs to help you get the best result that you can. And so I think I am going to cover here curve upwards like that hold on I need to put this away taking off just a little so that it will form that sharp bend the sharp corner and now let's try and get the bend right so the outer part of the bend can come like this Does that look like a J? Guys, I really regret this 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 eye pencil card I did on this manicure because I have not washed it. Why should I wash it? Is her hair growing? Her hair is not growing. She doesn't have dandruff, she doesn't have early scalp, she doesn't have build up. She's fine. So I don't have to wash her yet. Okay. So if this is the outer part of my J, now I need to follow this line, come over to the side. Now I need to follow this inner line and also curve my letter J. So this is the outer line and the curve it made. And then this is the inner line trying to follow the this is obviously too much to follow the the same way the same pathway of so let's squeeze this thing up and see what we have 
have this I'll just use a bobbin pin to put it in. You need to make sure that where your braid will start is straight, like a thin top. That way. Your chair can look more healthy. Like this. So I just use a bobby pin to put that in there. So I will go like this. Let's see the other in there. Bringing this down, this part of our braid. You remember this guy? Remember this? Remember this? So we You need to sew this down, but for the purpose of this video, I will use my accessory to just clap it together, just so that it will be easier to lose and faster. Sewing it is easy. You can watch any other alphabet to see how I sewed the hair in. But if you can incorporate the tail of your braid into your hairstyle, then you should. It is neater that way. Easier. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video of how to accessorize your hair with strings. So you can check that out because guys, it's fun. And this is what we have. Thank you so much for watching.